Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the channel. If you're new, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. We're gonna be going over left today because we've got to do that, and I have actually a decent one. Uh, now, keep in mind, uh, you probably won't be able to match mine perfectly unless you have very certain gear. I do run her in HP speed, and her stats are uh, 1,500 attack, 1,285 defense, 25,000 uh, HP, nearly 26,000 HP. This will be easily 26 if I ever get dupes for this thing. Um, Crit chance doesn't matter, critical damage doesn't matter, and then effectiveness is 56 points, uh, 56 percent uh, is what it is. Um, this will go higher once I reroll my ring to more effectiveness. So let's talk about her build. I like two piece HP, uh, four piece speed personally, just because of how she functions. Um, now the thing about Leth is that uh, she does not proc herself off a of counterattack. So her S2 Dreamer in the deep does not cost any soul to activate casters for stolburn when attacking has 100 percent chance to inflict one omen on the target regardless of whether the attack hits cannot be activated by a counter attack dual attack or an extra attack so you can't counter attack extra attack, dual attack to proc this which is balanced if this could proc off those it'd be so broken her ultimate freeze over attacks all enemies with frostbite or with a frozen mass decreasing buff duration by one turn before 100 percent chance to inflict uh frostbite and restrict for two turns Soulburn effect grants extra turn. So ideally you Soulburn this right away. Or if you want to play safe, you S1 and then whenever the turn comes back around, you S do Soulburn and just get a free kill. It's really up to you. Um, Frostbite is very strong. Uh, cannot be subject to any damage reduction or damage sharing effects. So this is really good into like Sage Vivian. This is good into Apoc Ravi. This is good into like anything beefy. This is really, really good into. And then Restrict uh, cannot receive combat readiness increase effects or other than that provided by speed stat. So you just, you can't move. It's, it's pretty ridiculous. You know, it's ridiculous. And then her S1 is Wave Slash. Attacks the enemy with a sword before increasing speed of the gas for one turn. After attacking, when the target uh, target's uh, omen is three, consumes all it's activating Call of the Abyss. Call of the Abyss makes a deep sea creature attack the enemy. And when the enemy is defeated, inflicts extinction and it recovers health of all allies. Can I trigger a critical hit and penetrates the target's defense? Damage dealt increases proportional to the caster's max health, and the amount of re uh, recovered increases proportional to max health. The target's max health. Um, she's an HP skiller. She also has full pen. Um, when you're when you have a lift built around this much HP uh, with her artifact, this is like twenty seven point seven percent, twenty seven thousand HP on field. Uh, she kills Lionheart for me in one hit with her with her little. Uh, Abyss. You know, it's crazy. Uh, for her gear, here's her weapon. It's a 7 speed, 22% HP. It's got effectiveness in it, effect resistance in it. It's just all around it's a decent piece. Her helmet is 9 speed, 32% health, effect resistance, and defense. Uh, I have a chest on her that is uh, high health, low speed, effectiveness, and more health. Uh, you can kind of see that uh, she's got the base that's of Lilia, so she's just fast, naturally. Um, 75 H, uh, HP neck with 60% HP, 22% defense, more flat health, uh, speed, and effectiveness. Now, this is where things get a little crazy. I have a 99 gear score ring with uh, 23 speed, uh, 247 health, 65% HP, and then uh, some flat defense. I'm going to re-roll this crit chance and put it on to effectiveness just to help out a bit. And then her boots are speed, HP, flats, uh, defense, HP, and effectiveness. Uh, you can kind of see how to uh, build her there. Now, ideally, for rough stats, I think you want 25,000 HP on her. No matter what, I think that's the bare minimum. Um, for her speed, you can definitely go 230. I think 230 is fine uh, if you make up for it in other stats. So if you go 230 speed, uh, you're going to want a bit more defense, maybe a bit more uh, effect resistance. Uh, or, or if you go even slower, 220 bare minimum, you definitely want like 1400 defense or maybe 1500 defense. The slower you are, the bulkier you want to get. So the slower you are, the more stats in the HP pool and the defense pool you need to get. So you need to balance out really well. Uh, and, but she's really easy to build. Her three stats are HP, defense, and speed. Anything else that you get, either effectiveness or effect resistance, is just bonus. So we're going to go ahead and cut to Arena Games and fight some Emma Landis to show how good she is against Emma Landis, I think, today. So let's, I'll see you guys in a second. 
So Lily, our last fighter, Crow, Rowana, Leth, and uh, Karina. Those who deny their Though that means we're gonna get silenced, right? Must suffer the consequences. Yeah. Take note for future reference. She's tanky, but that's a lot of pressure on us already. Because now we have to also tank. I got something for you. Other shit. Do I want to? I'm just gonna do this. Oh, we actually hit. I'll show you how I do things. Do I need immunity up? Probably, just because we're gonna get defense broken. Though she's gonna proc, so do we avoid? On um, let's avoid. I could have went for it, but I'm avoiding just so I can do the proper play. Hopefully, if this doesn't kill, we're in business. Yeah, we are in business. I have to pop this early, unfortunately. Free you from despair. Take care of it myself. This is so annoying that this is what HP. Um, I'm just gonna get rid of it. My power. You want to see it? Because they're all dirt slow and self invincibility anyway. Ouch. Really? Oh, it's killing me, right? Yeah. Okay. Now we're in business. You could try a little harder. We need to keep the kill or the uh, focus fighting circuit count on this unit low, but it's gonna boost up pretty quick, isn't it? Bon Jesus. Learn your place. Let's go ahead and start doing this. If we can get this off before she gets her ult, that's huge. Now she's restricted, so now she doesn't actually take turns ahead of us. Um, we have defense buff, so. I'm just gonna get rid of Zeo here. Because Zeo is free and it'll just chip on the landy. Step back. Learn your place. And then we go like this. And dealing with you eat this. It's just a waste of my time. 27,000 27, HP, almost 28,000 HP, so that thing is dead. If I had an actual artifact dupe, it'd be probably close to 28,000. And now he's gonna win, right? Uh, we don't want to burn this, though. There's no point in burning this. This is just the beginning. I'll take care of it myself. One turn until we can burn. Doesn't really matter, honestly. Let's have some fun. With skills like yours? No defense buff, so we are fine. I'm ready. Let's just let's just You're giving me do the thing. Let's do the thing and eat eat this unit me. alive. With such incompetence. Easy. That was nothing. Yeah, Leth is really good into Landy if you can actually restrict her and prevent her from pushing up really strong. Alright guys, we have another match to do. This one's going to be into C. Lilius, Arwell, Belion, and Landy. I'm going to keep Leth on the team. Uh, we're going to replace this with our Lone Crescent Bologna. Uh, very good option. Since they have so much counter potential, I do think I still like the idea of having Stella Harpa like cleanse me. So we're going to keep Rwanda here and try this team out um lrk is good in the bell because the bell is always aoeing also lanny has a chance to aoe uh lily's going to give them vigor buff which is going to be a little hard to fight through but eventually i think we just can just if we can kill off the lanny early or Why don't you just i think we're okay right um uh, my shit's gonna get controlled again i have a 245 left and she's gonna push back no it's blown actually so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start racking this up we restrict it so she does not push i'll take care of it myself another counterattack. this is not good for us it's actually kind of annoying but she is restricted so something to think about but she already had two of the what four counters that she needs so we have to might have to if she counters again we might just pop the ult 
Um, I mean, that's gonna cut, right? If she counters again, we get ulted, and then there's nothing stopping her, so we're gonna pop this now. She countered literally all three of my attacks. It's awkward. Bell is gonna get stunned, but we should kill without Bell, even having to do anything. Oh, we resisted. That's huge. We're attack lowered, though, so let's get the immunity up. I'm gonna immunity first, wait for a counter, and then pop the S3 when I get a free shot. What a waste of time. Now we go like this. There's the counter. We haven't revived, so we're okay. Though Bellona doesn't. Oh my god. I don't know if this kills. Hopefully it does. You'll only prolong the pain. Really close. Focus. If she hits me again, I actually might cut. You merely delay the inevitable. We do cut. I'll show you how I uh, we're one turn off too, but she's not restricted anymore. Boy, she's restricted. The audacity or attack lowered, but maybe this will do enough. Ignorant, immoral. These words are too good for you. Not quite enough. Must be brave. Vigor buff's about to hit us too. Wait. You're giving me a headache. Counter attack again. Which will proc Blona. Dude, the rage pick buff is holding her still, so she never got to take a turn. I think that's a base speed landy. I don't think that's I don't think that's not base speed. I, I I mean I think that is a base speed landy. I, she did not take turns or anything. I think if your landy's base speed, you're never gonna take a turn, which is what just happened there. Which is why you don't want base speed. You want 150. I'm pretty sure that was base speed. I'm like 90% sure that was a base speed landy. Get out of my sight. And counter again. That that restrict buff is so pog. And then we clean up, and easy, perfect Leth showcase. This could, this this is this is awesome. Leth is really doing crazy work with the with the controlling with Frostbite, and Blonus is cleaning up so nicely. What cannot be avoided must be overcome. Pay attention, or you. I actually think Hua is my highest attack unit, ironically. Cracks of despair. The buds of hope sprout forth. Are you okay. my next target? So let's go ahead and just get rid of Rowana here. I won't lose. To someone like you. I'm actually gonna Let S1. Me Let me show you how a S3. You're stronger than you look. So there's no need to go easy on you, huh? And then we kill whenever we need to. Oh, if we get provoked here, it's unfortunate, but I mean, we'll make it work. Under my control. We don't get provoked. Perfect. Uh, let's just kick this. And now we go like this. Chill. I'll take care of it myself. And now we exterminate this. It's just a waste of my time. Easy. Oh, this. This is restricted. I'll fight you. Two turns until that's Let's back. Oh, we, uh, dual attack. It's fine. Hate stack. Counter attack. If we must fight. You're giving me a headache. Easy. Almost. Um, Hua kills, so it doesn't matter. Actually, it's not even Hua that kills. It's actually going to be... Actually, no, Hua does kill. Ha. That's funny. Um, but yeah, um, this shows you the power of Leth. Leth is amazing. Uh, very, very, very good character. The Restrict, the Frostbite, uh, the high HP on mine's just decent. Actually, that's, that's not true. I have pretty good pieces on her. Um, but yeah, that's Leth. Leth's amazing. That's going to be it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later.
Peace.